Ding 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 So if you're ever in downtown Las Vegas, in fabulous Las Vegas, and you get tired of all the bells and whistles and the lights blinking, just drive up north and you're gonna find some rocks. Red rocks to be exact. Welcome to Valley of Fire. There's two entrances to Valley of Fire. The easiest one to get to is just hop on the 15th and come up, come north and then you'll see signs and it's an easy drive that leads to the west entrance of the park. If you have a little bit more time, rent a convertible, rent a fancy car, drive down to Boulder City, stop in and look at Hoover Dam, walk around a little bit, get, get a little bit of history, get to know a little bit of this awesome place and then cut through uh, Lake Mead uh, National Recreation Area. It is a fee to get through, but it is beautiful and you have some great views of the lake. The landscape throughout the whole drive is amazing. And if you're renting a car and just doing the whole experience, why not do it right? That brings you to the east entrance. And from there, you can just drive through the park. You can even camp in the park. There's tons of trails, tons of stuff to explore and to find here. So I guess let's get started. Valley of Fire gets its name from the vibrant red rocks. <laughs> Crazy bright red rocks, especially when the sun hits it. Or even like today where it's a little bit muted with the clouds, the red color just glows. And it's not only red, and I'll show you here in a minute what I mean. Right now I'm gonna hike this trail. It's called the Fire Wave in Nevada. It's similar to the famous wave in Arizona, but a lot different, so let's go. Explore this trail is only about one and a half miles and see what the wave is and what else is beyond the wave. The entrance fee for this park is $10 if you have Nevada plates and $15 if you don't. This is a Nevada fire wave. I'll have to show you from over there looking this way. It looks cool too. And if we keep going just beyond the wave, get down to the wash, and take a right, you're gonna run into the Pastel Slot Canyons. It's really cool. There's all kinds of colors. There's pinks and yellow and orange and red, and it's amazing. So it's probably just like a quarter mile. It's not a very long hike, but it's really, really beautiful. And there's no signs anywhere. Look at the colors on the rock and how beautiful this is. Just stripes through the sandstone. I don't know why there's no signs anywhere or anything telling people where to go. But to me, this Pastel Canyon here is amazing. So usually you can walk in here and go really into the slot canyon, but it rained really hard yesterday. And that's gotta be at least a foot deep and I don't have boots. So let me go up to the top and show you the canyon looking down. Cause it looks amazing with all the different layers, the different colors, it's just awesome. As you can see from this video so far, this place is a paradise for photographers. There's so many patterns, so many colors, so many different things that look different no matter what time of day and what time of year you come here. I'm kind of happy today is a little overcast because you really get to see the difference in the colors and the layers in these rocks. It's amazing. 
and it's not super hot even though we're in uh, <laughs> in late December, mid-December, whatever it is. Bambi is having a great time hiking, exploring all these canyons and this just looks amazing. The lines, the textures, the patterns and all the, the colors and every rock are just incredible. But there's a lot more to see so let me get back to the Jeep and go show you the rest of the park or at least a big piece of the park. <laughs> it's huge. This is the Rainbow Vista Trail. And I think I did it like five years ago. I can't remember. It's only a mile there and back. But very little elevation gain. But I can't remember if it was pretty or not. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Everything here is beautiful. So I think the trail's mislabeled because when you get to the end of this trail, it says Fire Canyon Overlook, not Rainbow Vista. But anyway, it's still pretty. There's also a lot of petroglyphs here in the park. And I heard somewhere that the ones at Mouse's Tank are the ones that are the most well-preserved. So let's go see, there's only a three quarter mile trail. Even though they're not very long, walking in soft sand makes it a little bit more difficult. There's your first section of petroglyphs. Most of the petroglyphs you'll see here are on the rocks where they get dark on the patina of the rock. And it's crazy. Everywhere if there's a dark rock, you'll find petroglyphs. It's really, really cool to see. It's interesting finding these drawings and it makes you wonder if it was just somebody doodling in the rocks because they had no color TV or if they were leaving a message for future generations. Let me know what you think. And there's also quite a few Instagram famous places here. There's this one, which is the fire road. And then there's the fire cave, which is a little bit trickier to find. So let me see if I can, if I can spot it. Okay, so this is the fire cave. And as you can see, <laughs> it's not very big, but the pictures look awesome. You could also spot a lot of faces on the rocks. Here's one of those rock faces I mentioned. I don't know if you can see it. There we go, profile. <laughs> the whole park is a great place to spot bighorn sheep. Uh, all throughout the day, it's, it's really cool to see them in their, their home. Even though we're so close to Las Vegas, sometimes it's worth traveling the road less traveled. You get to see some amazing things. And I wanted to do a, a video in Las Vegas, the Vegas experience. But I'm on my last week of this eight week Southwest uh, tour. <laughs> so my pockets are running a little bit empty. For now, I'm gonna leave you with this, with Valley of Fire and some of my favorite pictures that I've taken here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next Sunday. Bye. As I mentioned in the video, this is the last location of my American Southwest series. 
I have a couple ideas for a, just a few more videos that I want to make just to test the YouTube algorithm. But for now, let me finish saying this was an amazing road trip. It began in the Bonneville Salt Flats and took us to see some incredible rock formations, the forces of nature at work, and some of the most amazing and classic landscapes of the American Southwest. Some of these ever-changing landscapes, hikes through slot canyons and grand canyons, places that seem to be out of this world with rocks that light up from the inside and lone trees in the most random locations. Walking up rivers and rivers coming down mountains, capturing images of wildlife and even a selfie. 